One of the things that I find really fascinating about mathematics is that you have these relationships and deep connections between ideas and subfields of mathematics that seem unrelated. And one example of this is the Poincaré Huff theorem, which relates ideas in topology to ideas in analysis. Now, in order to discuss the Poincaré Huff theorem, I have to introduce two notions. The first one is the Euler characteristic. Now, in the case of 2D surfaces, what you do is you add the number of vertices, you count the number of vertices, you subtract from it the number of edges, and you add to it the number of faces. Now, in the case of the cube, in the case of this diamond-shaped figure, the Euler characteristic is 2. For example, in the case of a torus, the Euler characteristic is 0. Now, the Euler characteristic is what we call a topological invariant. It's an idea from the very beginning of a subfield of mathematics called topology. Now, another idea that I'd like to introduce is vector fields on surfaces. Now, you can sort of understand what a vector field is by assuming that you have a particle here on the surface and you're assigning to it a path and a, a, a direction and a speed. So if your particle starts here, it will follow this path. It starts here, it will follow this path. And there are many ways to assign this path. You can have it, you can have it spiral out like this. You can have a source. You can have a sink. Now, notice that if you, in this case, in this vector field, for example, wherever you are, you're always flowing towards the center. And if you are at the center, you're not moving. So this point here, right at the center, is the zero of this vector field. Now what we demand is that the zeros of the vector fields are isolated, which means that you can find a small tiny neighborhood around this zero in which there are no other zeros. Now there's a way to assign a unique number to each isolate, isolated zero, and we call it the index of the zero. Now you would assume that there is no relationship between the vector field on the surface and its Euler characteristic. After all, you can assign so many different vector fields, and as long as you're doing it in a smooth way, you can really assign it in whichever way you want. But the Poincaré Huff theorem tells you that if you have a smooth, compact surface, then the sum of the indices of the zeros equals its Euler characteristic. And of course, this is generalized to higher dimensions as well. And I find this mind-boggling. 